Hi and welcome to this multi-part video series called Phone Right. My name is David Anthony. Now if this is your first time here, welcome. And do consider subscribing because this channel is all about helping you go further and faster in business and in life. So let's get started. Now remember, you rang them because you needed a set of tires. You began, as most people will by the way, by saying, I'd like your price on some tires for my car please. The salesperson, well, I use that term loosely, the person on the other end of the phone gave you the price. Now, here's the key question. What would you do if you were the customer in this situation? Well, you'd say, thanks for that, I'll probably get back to you later on in the day. Now, you didn't mean to lie, but the truth is there's only one situation where you will ring terrific tires again, and that's if they have the lowest price. The truth is that you'll hang up the phone. And please note this so carefully, you'll hang up the phone and call someone else. So the money that Terrific Tires spent on getting you to call them, all those thousands of dollars we spoke of earlier, all of that money has just gone down the drain. Well, it, it's actually worse than that, isn't it? All the money they spent to get you to call them has just effectively been given to their competitor. So if you've got people in your organization who are handling the phone like this, Oh yeah, hi. Uh, could you tell me the uh, your price on a Voxon VX4000 car stereo system, please? Yeah, the, the Voxon VX4000. Uh, in actual fact, we've got a uh, special on at the moment. Just hang on a second, I'll check for you. Um, Voxon, that, that's $339 at the moment. That does not include installation price. All right, $339. Well, thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye. Right, bye. Then this program is going to give you incredible gains in sales. That's because we'll be taking calls that begin this way. Uh, yes, uh, could you tell me the price of the car seat covers for the BMW 535, please? Or... Do you have any Hoover spare parts in stock? Well, we'll be taking calls like that and giving you the precise words and skills to use to turn those seemingly casual inquiries into profitable sales so that you really can profit from this program. But... Before we do that, and because I want to make absolutely certain that you do use these skills on a consistent basis, we need to look at several critical background points. If you like, we need to put some stakes very firmly in the ground so that you understand not just the skills themselves, but why it is that they work so well. That way, you're much more likely to retain and use the ideas. These background points we need to look at right up front concern three things. Your attitude to the phone, understanding why it is that people call you, and, perhaps most importantly, we need to look at the need for what I call performance standards. Let's begin this backgrounding session then by looking at your attitude to the phone. You know, some people have an amazing attitude to the phone. You're not one of them, of course, but you probably do know people who do this. They go home at the end of the day, and here's what happens. Hi, darling. How was your day? I had a heck of a day. Oh, really, sweetheart? What happened? Oh, the phone didn't stop ringing all day. Now, as we've said, you've never done that, have you? But you probably know some people who have. What an incredible attitude it is. When I hear people saying things like that, I offer them a very simple solution. And that's this. If the phone is so bad, why not let's call telecom and get it cut off? Funnily enough, no one ever wants to do that. And that's because the phone is an incredible source of business when it's handled correctly. Our attitude should be like this. Hi, darling. How was the day? Well, it was hectic, but really great. Oh, really, sweetheart? What happened? My phone didn't stop ringing all day. Hey, that's great to hear. I guess you got a lot of business from it. Certainly did. And who knows, maybe they'll have a nice celebration. But equally on attitudes to the phone, you see some business people who wonder in amazement why the phone doesn't bring them heaps of business. You visit their offices, they're busy doing something, and then their phone rings. And here's exactly what happens. Oh, shit, another bloody phone call. Now, again, you've never done that, have you? But I bet you know some people who have. So our attitude has to be one of welcoming, really welcoming that call. And that's surprisingly easy to do once you understand precisely why it is that people call you. During our live telephone seminars, I asked the audience this question. Why is it that people call you or your company on the phone? And I wonder what you'd say if I asked you that question. Well, I hope your answer wouldn't be like the seminar attendee up north one day who said, well, 
I reckon people ring my phone because Lifeline was engaged. So, why is it that people ring your phone? Well, let me give you the list that people come up with in the live seminar. It goes like this. People ring my phone because they want information, they want help, they want advice, they want to check deliveries and stock situations, they want a brochure sent out, and of course, the big one often is because they're shopping for price. Now, they seem like valid reasons, don't they? But they simply don't go far enough. Listen again to those reasons and see if you can pick what we're getting at. People ring my phone because they want information, they want help, they want advice, they want to check deliveries and stock situations, they want a brochure sent out, or because they're shopping for price. All of those reasons miss the main point. And that's this. With the exception of complaint calls, people ring your phone primarily because they want to buy. Now, we need to be careful with that. You see, I didn't say they ring your phone because they want to buy your product from you today. What we're saying is this. A critical phone attitude to acquire right now is this. People ring your phone because they're in the marketplace. That is, they don't necessarily ring you because they want to buy your product from you today. But by picking up their phone and calling you, they're saying in effect, look, I'm in the marketplace for this product. And of course, depending upon your phone attitudes and skills, you can convert that I'm in the marketplace person to someone who ends up right there and then deciding to buy your product from you today. As an example of that, take the caller who begins his call by saying, Yeah, oh yeah, could you send me a uh, brochure on holidays in America, please? Well, what do you know? Well, this person is in the marketplace for a holiday in America. And by the way, we'll discover later on that one of the worst things you can do in a situation like this is to actually send the brochure. But more about that later. I hope you got a lot of value today. If you did, click the like button. What that does is help us build our non-profit business school, UBLA. Check out in the description below to find out more about what we're doing and how you can help. This is part of a multi-part series, so keep your eye out for the next video. In the meantime, we've done a great playlist about how I do small businesses fail. Check this link over here, and this will show you a great little list about how you can be successful in business. So thank you very much. Catch you again soon.